He said he ain't got no money for a doctor. Some Algorithm had a hit out on me. Ah. Really miss my name. Fish for lay. Ah. Really miss my name. Fish for lay. Interesting fact number one. Skateboarding was started in the 1950s by surfers who wanted the sensation of riding waves on dry land. Since then, it's evolved into a casual pastime to a challenging feat of athleticism. In 2020, skateboarding finally earned the recognition it deserves as an Olympic sport. Olympic sport. Olympic sport. Number two. While the exact origins of skateboarding are unknown, the earliest versions of the skateboard were roller skate wheels glued to wooden crates to ride down hills. At first, they used the whole box so that you could hold onto the top as a handlebar. Eventually, it evolved to just the rudimentary beginnings of wooden plank and wheels combination as we know today. Surfers realized that they could use their makeshift boards to practice their moves when there weren't any waves. They would find concrete banks that mimic the shape of a wave, this is why skateboarding was originally called sidewalk surfing and carving. In fact, doing big surf style turns was the primary trick performed in the 60s. Number four, because the skateboard is linked to surfing, it was initially practiced barefoot like surfing. One of the first ways to make skateboards jump, now called an ollie, was to wrap your toes around the board's edge for a grip. Probably leading to your feet looking a little bit nasty and gnarly, or shredded up and uh, nasty looking like probably this. Ew. Skateboarding is really a US sport, but skateboarding culture is exploded worldwide. More than half of all US skaters live in California and about more than 75% are under 18. With these numbers, it's the sixth most popular sport globally. And this visual shows you 85 million people in comparison. The original skateboards used clay wheels, which were very heavy and not durable. They were not suited for the types of high performance tricks we're accustomed to seeing today. Eventually, they evolved to steel, but it wasn't until the invention of polyurethane in the 1970s that the wheels we know today were developed. Polyurethane wheels are lighter, more durable, and give more traction at high speeds. In 1965, the first skate park was built in Tucson, Arizona, named Surf City. Then in 1976, skate parks started to open up all over. California opened one in 1976 in Carlsbad, and then there was another one the same year in Australia. The oldest privately owned skate park is in Jacksonville, Florida, Kona. Skate park opened in 1977 and is still running today. Alan Ollie Gelfman was the first to do a no-handed air in 1978 by slightly lifting the nose of the skateboard. He was an early pro skater from Florida who moved to California to pursue his career. While training in the Skateboarding USA Park in Hollywood, he developed a new way to air without using his hands to keep the board attached to his feet. The skateboard media publicized it and called it the Ollie. Pretty soon after, it caught on among vertical and street skaters and transformed the sport. Rodney Mullen is known as the godfather of skateboarding because he is one of the first flat ground skateboarders. He was just an average kid from Florida who became obsessed with skateboarding. He saw what Alan Gelfin had done in a bowl and applied that to land the first ever ollie on the flat ground. Flat ground is the foundation of street style skateboarding, which is done around the city rather than in a skate park. Rodney Mullen invented most of the basic variations of current flat ground tricks, such as the pop shove it, kick flip, hill flip, and tray flip. He practiced his trick outside of the skate park. When a massive drought hit Southern California in the early 1970s, homeowners drained their pools to conserve water. Skateboarders soon found out that skating in the bowl-shaped part of the pool was a lot like surfing big waves and more fun than skating on any hill or embankment. They went in search of bigger and better pools to practice carving waves and the first skate parks were designed to mimic those empty swimming pools. The X Games started in 1995. It is an extreme sports competition created to capture the attention of a generation disinterested in traditional sports. Skateboarding was a significant feature of the original X Games. It successfully attracted the attention of passionate action sports enthusiasts 
and is now one of the world's biggest competitions. Tony Hawk is widely regarded as the GOAT, greatest of all time in skateboarding, but he has also advanced the sport in competitive realms. He was the first skater to ever land a 900, which is two and a half complete rotation. This was widely believed to be physically impossible on a skateboard, and it opened up the door for big spin tricks we see on a skateboard today. And he can still land it at 48. I was there as a kid, and the crowd was electrifying. That was the most awesome thing I ever seen on a skateboard. In street skateboarding, one of the biggest records was set by Aaron Jaws Hamoki. He ollied a set of 25 stairs. The stair was nicknamed the Lion and was the first attempted by Ali Balala in 2003. To better understand just how impressive this is, it's over 14 feet high and 23 feet long. The global skateboarding market is now valued over $2 billion. The rise of competitive skateboarding around the world, the addition of the sport of the Olympics and the pandemic and social media like Skate Talk have helped grow the sport to record levels. Although skateboarding is expanding globally, most skate parks are still in the US where the sport was created. As a result, many municipalities have built skate parks in their communities. and There are now over 3,100 parks in the US alone. Let me know if you thought this video was useful and you thought this knowledge was good or not. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you knew any of this history. But with that, um, that wraps it up here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe and um, I'll catch you on the next video where I provide you with some more info about skateboarding.